Iraq has the second largest oil fields in the world. Fifteen trillion dollars worth of oil, second to Saudi Arabia. So their armies are wiped out. They have weak armies. It's a corrupt society anyway. I mean, it's totally corrupt what's going on over there. So I said very simply that if it's me, we take the oil. How about a minimum that they pay for their liberation? Look, at a minimum, at a minimum they pay us back the $1.5 trillion. That's at a minimum. When we went over there, I said, hey, I assume we're taking the oil. Are we taking the oil? You know, in the old days, you had a war. You ever hear the expression, to the victor belongs the spoils? I said, if we're to leave it, take the oil. At least pay us back. And I come out, front page news, oh, Trump is a horrible human being. He wants to take the oil from a sovereign country. Sovereign, give me a break. You see the people ripping off sovereign. <laughs> hey. Unbelievable. I would take away their wealth. I would take away the oil. But wouldn't you be destroying the wealth of Iraq? No, no, let me tell you. There is no Iraq. There is no Iraq. Their the leaders Iraqis are corrupt. Differ, Excuse me, there are no Iraqis. They're broken up into so many different factions. Do you need U.S. troops to protect the oil company? You, yes, you put a ring around them. You put a ring. You have just taken all of the wealth away. This is what should be done. How are we going to take the oil? How are we going to do that? You, just, you would leave a certain group behind and you would take various sections where they have the oil. They have. Uh, people don't know this about Iraq, but they have among the largest oil reserves in the world, in the entire world. So you would keep troops in Iraq after this year? I would take the oil. I don't understand how you would take the Does that mean keeping troops there or, or staying in, involved in Iraq? You heard me. I would take the oil. Well, what do you do about you it? You stay and protect the oil and you right. take the oil. And we pay ourselves back a trillion and a half dollars or more. We take care of Britain. You take care of other countries that helped us. And we don't be so stupid. One more point on this. I have long said that we should have kept the oil in Iraq.